Welcome to our Friday forecast. And uh, here we are. Um, we're looking forward to our first weekend of worship um, here at the Journey Church in 20, the year 2015. You know, I just think about the month of December. It was a busy month, but it was a good month as we had everything from carol singing to common meals to the, the children's uh, Christmas uh, special called On Frozen. Um, and then I think about even our Christmas Eve services. Um, our attendance was up over, over last year's Christmas Eve services. Uh, I think about the generosity that uh, we had uh, displayed over the month of December. Um, our Christmas offering was about $13,500, give or take. Uh, we had a, a Christmas Eve offering that was dedicated to helping uh, girls get education in developing countries. It was called She Matters, and that was nearly $3,000. It was around $2,800 and change. Um, just just a lot of a lot of good things and and I don't know about you but I find trying to get into the new year is uh is a real challenge as uh you know you come through a, a time where you're busy in your church family and obviously you have all the connections that you're doing with your own family and friends during this season but as we look forward uh to this coming weekend um I'm I'm going to be preaching on uh, uh it's entitled never traveled this way before. And we're just looking at that story of Joshua as he's leading the people into the promised land. As we consider about that, um, one thing we want to do in our worship this coming weekend, and whether you come Saturday night or to our two Sunday morning services, just start to um, let God speak into your heart this way. Uh, we're going to be taking some time during our worship just to give people an opportunity to um, share with the wider congregation and say, here's where I feel uh, you know, God's asking me uh, to take a step or where God's nudging me or where I'm wrestling with um, so that it can be both a time of encouragement for the wider church family and also a, a time that we can pray for you as well. Of course, there are um, ministry events that are now starting to happen here in the month of January, and we just would encourage you to go to our website, uh, you know, check out the email that uh, you can get from the church about these upcoming events, everything from Daniel Plan to um, our women's brunch uh, meeting, uh, and other things that are going on with our youth as well, uh, especially the Hub City Youth Retreat that's taking uh, place at the end of the month. Just before I close, I just want to uh, do a, a throw over here right now to Leanne Prescott. She uh, gives leadership to youth uh, with World Vision Canada, and she's going to be the special speaker at, um, at the Hub City Youth Retreat. Uh, take a listen. Leanne. I hear that you're going to be the main speaker at uh, an event that uh, Jen and some other pastors in the city are planning at the end of the month, and it's called the Hub City uh, Youth Retreat. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about what you're going to be doing? Yeah, I'm going to be speaking. I'm so excited. I'm going to get a chance to um, be in a room with some of the best and brightest youth from our city and talk about changing the world, talking about what God has called us to, when we, what is social justice really about, and hopefully inspire some to take a stand and to be a little bit more intentional and full of purpose when they are going to school and when they are talking to their friends about what it means to love people. Okay, young people, this is who's coming, so plan to sign up. Well, that's it for my Friday forecast. Uh, looking forward to seeing you this weekend, um, and, and I, I'm looking forward to bringing that message, never traveled this way before, as we uh, share and worship together.